One of the nation's leading universities was apparently the setting for a pretty stunning abuse of power. A former dean at St. John's is being accused of using scholarship students as her personal servants, threatening to take away their funds unless they did what she said to do. Well, Jeremy Hubbard has been following this story and has the latest. Jeremy, what can you tell us? Pretty bizarre. Good morning to you, Deborah. These are allegations that have her facing federal charges this morning and have the St. John's University campus buzzing. Cecilia Cheng is already accused of embezzling from the school. Now she's charged with making students do servant work. But her attorney tells us she didn't know she was doing anything wrong. Things have gone from bad to worse for the former college dean who was bailed out of jail just last night. She's now facing federal forced labor charges, accused of being a whip-cracking administrator who made students work as servants in order to keep their scholarships. It's not right. It's not right. It shouldn't have been happening. As head of the school's Asian Institute, Chang gave out 15 scholarships a year. The students, most of them foreign, were told they had to work 20 hours a week under her. They thought it would be campus work. Instead, the FBI says it was menial household chores at her fancy home, like cooking, shoveling snow, and taking out the trash. Also on their to-do list, driving Chang's son to the airport at 3 in the morning, delivering cash to Chang during a casino outing, and driving her to the salon, restaurants, and the airport. If they didn't do it, investigators say she threatened to take away their scholarships. Despite the harsh charges against her, her attorney says she is not a slave driver. There's no indication. He says students helped prepare Chang's home for school-related dinners that she hosted. He says it wasn't unlike most college work-study programs. She's shocked. She's shocked. What did she do wrong? She did this for, for decades. She's been giving out scholarships. St. John's University released a statement calling the allegations shocking and in complete violation of all this university stands for. The school has already fired Chang for a previous problem. She was indicted just last month for allegedly stealing a million dollars from St. John's to pay for Victoria's Secret lingerie, gambling trips, and law school tuition for her son. Some have dubbed Chang the Dean of Mean. We mentioned her students were worried they might lose their scholarships, but the university says they will honor the scholarships, which add up to about $5,000 per semester. And Deborah and Dan, this was the difference for some students between whether they get to stay in school or not. Pretty vulnerable students, a lot of them from disadvantaged homes. And other countries, too. Yep.